He's lifting a giant ass chair. For the first time since SSS number whatever. Who cares? It's the, it's the last SSS we had. We are commentating together and we are watching Galaxia vs. Zane. Otherwise known as uh, Mr. Gamer Watch and those guys. I honestly have no idea what to expect from uh, Gamer Watch. Well, not to, I know what to expect from Gamer Watch. I don't know what to expect from Ice Climbers and Bracket because I've never seen this before. I actually used to main Ice Climbers in the beginning of Ultimate. Why? I don't know. Why did you do that to yourself? I don't know, man. Did you, did you go for desync or did you Yes, I, I did try desync. Yeah, fun with ice climbers. But with Nana just teleported, holy. Yeah, Nana does some weird stuff. Uh, that up there is definitely gonna, is definitely like... You can, call, you can call ice climbers bad, but they do have some moves that really carry them in mid to lower, like, lower level play. Yeah. Especially when it comes to moves like Skull Hammer and the up there. Yeah, that's a side B. Oh, really? Yeah. They play nice. Alright. Uh, Alright. Yeah, right. I was playing Game of Thrones, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I Yeah, so yeah. Oh, uh, guys, something. Oh, we're trying to do a freeze up to the up smash. Not really something complicated, but hey, that worked, but it didn't. And uh, and there goes that forward smash. Yeah, freeze is such a good move. Anyone that just kind of freezes you is good. He's going to take the first off with a forward smash, though. Yeah. That actually, really, that actually really needs to get good in there real quick. That one's, that one's like playing live. Oh, I was watching the wrong screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Essentially, you're gonna see a lot of down smashes at, at high percentages from. Uh, the, thing, the thing is, like uh, with ice climbers, uh, I'm guessing from this ice is that they do know some desync stuff, but they're fairly new to the whole idea. Like they're you know, trying to do something, but they clearly haven't mastered the combos yet. I mean, it's a couple of it. It's not like it's not like terribly like crazy, but like you know, it's pretty little some something though. Yeah, but this is definitely more. Oh, you tried the uh, parry down smash? Yeah. You're gonna see a lot of down smashes from uh, Galaxy Outlet. He really wants to. He, it's a, a good way to keep you off ledge. Uh, up smash is like. Yeah, you watch this light. Um. Just the Soko up smash, though. It's gonna take it. Um, yeah. But you, as I was saying, you're gonna see a lot of down smashes on ledge from Galaxy because he really likes to use that to get you off stage. Yeah. He's gonna use it as a kill setup. He's gonna use it as a neutral tool. He's going to use uh, down smash. Like, I'll just see, yeah. like, at 38%. This is a pretty dangerous, uh, even with, like, the whole stock ahead, this is pretty, this is, like, really dangerous because, um, they're really dangerous for both Galaxia and Zane. Because, uh, yeah, even with, like, the stock lead, you know, Game Watch can get some really weird stuff with, like, the down smashes and forward smashes and all that. Yeah. But there's also a thing you need to consider that Ice Climbers is just excellent at short range, especially with the whole, uh, freeze stall and all that. Yeah. So you gotta be able to watch out for that and basically just keep your distance. And luckily for Game Watch, he doesn't really, he doesn't really have distance in mind, but the dish joint will definitely help. Yeah. That's definitely it. Oh, the leader of the chair just caught him there. Yep. Taking the stock at like 140, whatever. I don't know. If Galaxia can get like some sort of combo that knocks Nana away from Poker and basically just separates them. Or a 9. <laughs> oh, hard that. Uh, sorry, he got caught in it. He's playing the 1v2. It's a little, it's a little difficult, especially, especially when you haven't really done it before. We don't really have many ICs out here, but when you play, when you like first fight against ICs, it's definitely something, definitely something new to learn. Because for one thing, you cannot, you basically can't grab them because you know you, the other one will easily like uh, grab, will easily like keep you out of it unless you do an immediate throw to a lingering hitbox or something. There's a couple throws that have that, like Kirby down throw. Uh, that's it. The main ones I think of is Mario back throw and Incineroar forward throw. Those are the ones that gave me a lot of trouble when I first played them. Have you ever played another... Have you ever played a, uh, what is it, I season bracket? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, another I season bracket? You, like, you know, like, like Squander plays I see sometimes, I know. Oh, um... Have you ever no. played, like, an played... bracket as PT? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've had Black now. Oh, it's an admin, man. Shoot. That's gonna be a little rough, but he's gonna excel. Now, I guess they're just gonna see the we'll actually just try and get in on him and stay in, which is gonna be a little bit rough, but it's gonna work out. And then definitely has the tools to basically just keep anyone that she wants away, especially with those arms that not only do dummy damage, but are just like, huge. Does laser, does laser go for bucket? I don't know actually. It probably doesn't though. My bird is already on. Yeah, he's already on Gigawatt. No, no, no. Gigawatt is definitely like probably the most out, like outlandish one. Like 
not, even though it's so and it does like a so much damage, it, it, it pretty much can be used any time, but now I'm gonna go back to the Ram Ram, where it, it basically just covers a lot of air, which Game Watch loves to cover air. Come on now, that would be very helpful. Come on now, the Ram Ram. Done. <laughs> I have bounce and I got the down smash and forward smash, it's a classic game watch combo. Uh, the, I wonder why Zane would switch characters even though he won. I don't know if he's just trying to mess around or what. It might be he feels confident that he can pull out his minion in bracket and just wants to see it. I've done that a couple times. Like, when, like I'm trying to pick up ink for another. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah I saw it. Sure. <laughs> Stupid. Um. Do you think that, do you think is a stellar, or do you think she's a glass cannon? What do you think of this? I think she's, I think she's kind of a mix of both, because, uh, even though, like, uh, she's especially dangerous up, like, far away, when you, like, try to get close to her, she does it isn't like she's going, like, um, helpless when she's up close, because she's got a few up close to her that really... Up smash. Yeah, up smash, uh, landing there, a lot of things that I can pretty much just put her in a good position, which is why she's, like, such a good character. Yeah. That's pretty fair. This is a pretty slow game, but it, it seems like it's pretty even. Galaxia's taking an early lead. We had a we had a bit of a shield stand up there. We got the Omega <laughs> hitting Game Watch to the stratosphere. You mean the Smash 4 just shield directly next to each other? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of rad. Yeah. He do, he do be having download right now. He's, he's getting a little... <laughs> I'd say that Game & Watch has better in close tools. Uh, close. wow. Up close, well, better. Game & Watch can definitely spam stuff if you really want to. Oh, did he die at 58? Oh, uh, both of these characters do definitely have tools where they can just, like, throw it out. Yeah. And then there's is more of a character that can benefit from both, like, not only just having tools to like uh, basically just throw out whenever they want but also just like tools to throw out in distance which really helps with this game especially since game watch is so much more of a oppressive threat up close that's true i i would say win win benefits a lot more from just keeping in line so that i can do what she wants to do yeah i would i would say that we've seen a lot of uh We've seen a lot of like up close when he's doing it. He's even at late percentages, he's going for those combo moves. But he's been using a lot of up to that late percentage. He's been using a lot of just jab. Like he hit a jab just there. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like even though both characters do have tools to hit each other up close, Min Min is just so much more impressive far away. Yeah. And she just gets like a good. Uh, say Galaxia tries to get in on her, and he what successfully does. Yeah. Uh, if a uh, Min Min manages to like hit some sort of like move like Nair in the in the fair or something, then yeah, she's basically just had she has advantage and she can basically throw out more arms and pretty much just keep the momentum going. Yeah. Oh nice back air. Oh he went for it off stage. Alright, this is pretty dangerous for both players now, but in my opinion, this is way much more dangerous for Galaxia, especially with Game Watch being such a lightweight character. Yeah, and Zane knows that by having Megawatt. Oh, I uh, think for uh, no, Megawatt. He's trying to be a little. He's trying to be a little schmoogin. Yeah, I, that's he's he's doing pretty good just dashing and fielding, but he's. And, I don't know what's You can see that Zane is perfectly content with just staying back and throwing our arms nice and connect. Oh, that's a nice parry. The approach hit the dash back, but it isn't going to help much. Go back to our uh, distance and we're going to take this up. Dude. Unfortunate. That's so sad. Yeah. That is. Good games. Okay. Yes, that was good. Andy has a matchup. What are you going to do? Learning. Well, yeah. Learning, that's what I'm going to do. Learning. That was pretty good. That was a good set. That was a good spawn one. I thought I heard Tobuscus. I'm gonna go back. It's not that guy. Tobuscus talking about this man. Tobuscus. He's gonna play Steve and he's gonna ask if he's gonna 